Hi, this is Bill Hartzer, and today I want to talk about moving your website from HTTP to HTTPS. We know that Google recommends that we all move our websites to HTTPS, so I've actually developed a checklist of things that you need to think about and things that you need to do in order to move your site properly from an HTTP website to actually a secure website. There are other issues um, involved with, with moving um, and even the considerations, but I wanted to today go through specifically my personal checklist. Um, and if you need any specifics, you can certainly talk, contact me um, and I can help you out. So. Initially, we want to prepare. Um, we, we want to decide whether or not we're going to move all the content um, or we're going to use partial content or part of the website. Ideally, we want to use and move all of the content over to HTTPS. That's ideal. We want to prepare the site. We need to look at the site internally and determine, okay, are there internal links? Are there canonical tags? What files internally on the site that are that are recommended and uh, that are moved that I mean all, all I all your URLs all your even your internal links if you click a link it needs to go to the HTTP, HTTPS version and not the old HTTP version and so we need to fix some of those things same with images and 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 uh, JavaScript and CSS we want to review all the links to the site um, identify any links from other websites that we can probably get updated. That could be social profiles. It could be other information. Um, what's it, we want to, uh, like I said, update our social um, social accounts. Uh, go into Google Webmaster Tools and 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 actually at some point we are going to actually need to um, uh, to to verify the site in Webmaster Tools, which is now Search Console, um, Google Search Console. So basically, site preparation, as we're preparing the site itself, all the internal links, anything that's URL, that has a URL in it, um, it's going to need to be point to HTTPS. So we're going to need to fix the site. Um, you want to check your uh, content management system settings, like um, WordPress and so forth, the canonical tags, check your images, your CSS files, your JavaScript URLs, just everything. And then we also then also need to get ready to set up our 301 redirects. So when you re someone requests an HTTP version of your site, it'll 301 redirect to an HTTPS version. So we go um, some of the basics um, with the redirects. Here's some sample code um, that's also available on our site. But if you also uh, Google 301 permanent redirect um, code, um, this is for Apache, which is a lot of um, websites around Apache and, and so for the WordPress. This is just a sample code. It's just a couple pages. And basically, it shows everything uh, that is needed um, of these uh, four lines to make those sort of one redirects happen. So we started needing to plan. Um, when are we going to actually make the switch? I mean, it's kind of like launching a new version of your site. We naturally need to make a date and time when we're going to switch and move. Um, we need to detail the process of moving. Um, are we going to upgrade, you know, maybe upgrade our server at some point? Whatever we need to do there. Um, the internal company issues. Um, if it's just you and, and a couple people, fine, it may be easier. But if you have a larger corporation, there's IT people, there's you know website people, web development people, marketing people, there's a lot of people involved. And so they need to actually be involved in that process. And, and we need to talk about who's responsible for actually doing you know, these various tasks. So when we actually get to moving day here, um, once the switch is made, once we you know once it's moved and we have a live HTTPS site that's supposedly now redirecting, um, we actually want to verify the site in Webmaster Tools, uh, Google, Google Search Console, and um, does that's that's actually a new version of your site. We want to test the site. Use a crawler. Okay, use a crawler like Screaming Frog SEO Spider to actually crawl the site. Um, check your server headers 
and um, check for any other vulnerabilities. Um, we want to check the SSL to make sure everything's working properly. We're not getting any errors. Um, check on multiple browsers and so forth. Uh, switch your social media profiles so that they, you know, your Twitter account and your Facebook pages and so forth, that those point to the HTTPS version. And then we want to start looking at Google Analytics. We want to watch Google Analytics. We actually need to go into Google Analytics. There's a setting in there to show what, you know, that it's a new version of your site. So we want to actually go in and specify HTTPS version because um, that's a new URL. And then we want to look for referrers. So there are any referring sites that are referring traffic to you. We want to actually see if we can get them to change those links or to HTTPS, notify them, and so forth. That's, you know, then after moving day, after we've moved, we want to actually update and watch, you know, continually, hopefully you're watching your Google Analytics every day, but uh, we want to watch those, uh, want to update your uh, social media accounts and profiles. I've mentioned that before. Email signatures um, with the new URL, you know, is one another place you can check. Um, any company themes, templates, um, and so forth that you're using, PDF files that you're creating, anything that mentions your site's URL, just make sure it has HTTPS on it. And then finally, you want to start contacting link owners. Um, anybody with a prominent link, check your links at Majestic.com and um, see who's prominently linking to you and see if you can get those links. That's just a basic checklist. Um, there's a lot of you know technical details, especially with crawling and and setting and setting everything up um, internally that you need in, and setting up the SSL and and so forth. There's other issues, so if you have any of those questions, feel free to get in touch with me, um, and I'll help you walk through walk through the process. But hopefully, this checklist um, it's also available on my site, BillHartzer.com. So go ahead and 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 hopefully this is. Uh, um, helpful and like I said really um, I don't care if you're have an e-commerce site or not um, yeah I've moved my blog over to HTTPS and I've only had positive things from it um, so I really do recommend moving your site from HTTP to HTTPS